All right, thanks for watching. I'm JJ Kim, and today we are trying same thing as yesterday, but trying with a different lens. So I'll be using XF 16 to 80 f4 lens, and then 35 2.0 XF mount, and as well as the uh, Sigma 18 to 35 uh, 1.8 using the uh, Fringer EF to FX adapter. And also I'll be adding, putting the ISO and shutter speed auto, and then aperture fixed, and like a variable of uh, two different settings auto, and one as a fix. So this will be a longer video. Right now I'm shooting with the 16 to 80. Uh, zoom all the way in at 80 millimeter. Shutter speed 1 60th of second fixed, ISO 160 fixed, and aperture is set on auto. So right now aperture is 5.0, and I'm gonna slowly turn to the bright side. Now it's going up to f11. And I'm gonna slowly move back to shaded area 4.5. And then going back out, F11. So I put those two controller on the same uh, kind of horizon level so that the, you know, the focus going in and out doesn't interfere with our test. There you go. So that's the uh, aperture is automatic. So still on the same lens, 16 to 80 F4, and now Shutter speed and aperture is fixed, and ISO is an auto. Uh, so ISO right now is 2000, and I'm gonna bring it out and start lowering it down to ISO 320. So I still feel like ISO is a lot smoother. Changing. And on the background, I purposely put a shaded, really bright side and the dark side, so you can see how the background, you know, the highlights and the shadow really changes it as well. There we go, ISO was in auto. Still in the same lens, 16 to 80 f4. Now the aperture is fixed, ISO is fixed, and the shutter speed is in auto. And shutter speed is a 500th of a second and 3200th of a second. And I feel like shutter speed is also smoother while it's switching. So now ISO is fixed at 500, shutter speed and aperture is at auto. So the meter doesn't really tell me what like aperture or the uh, shutter speed is at. So I just gotta rely on my eyes to see what's doing what. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't tell what's being adjusted, unfortunately. Um, but I know the ISO is fixed at 500. And aperture and shutter speed is set auto. So now shutter speed is set at 250th of second and aperture and ISO is automatic. So let's see what changes to... So both aperture and ISO try to adjust a little bit. But ISO, yeah, ISO is still in between 160 and 200 while the aperture is F10. And shaded area, aperture is down to 4.0 and ISO is 250. And see if the same value, F10, ISO 160. ISO 250 and F4. All right, so this is different lens. This is a Fujifilm 35 millimeter F2.0. And I'm not gonna do any tests on shutter speed or ISO because the mechanism is same on the body but I think the aperture might be affected because it's different lens. So let's see. So shutter speed at 2,000th of the second, ISO 1600. Right now, aperture is 4.0. And F13. 
going back to open it up a little bit. F3.2. F13. F3.2. And I'm gonna do ISO just for fun. All right, so aperture is set at F4.5, uh, F shutter speed at 2,000th of second, and ISO is set to auto. Right now, ISO is 2,500, and lowering it to ISO 200. Going back out, ISO 2,500. ISO 200. So this was with the uh, Fujifilm 35mm f2.0 lens. Alright, so I'm using Sigma 18-35 1.8 with the uh, Fringer adapter. And shutter speed is set at 100, uh, shutter speed is set at thousandth of a second, ISO 320, and aperture auto. Right now, aperture is 2.0, and then now, Oof, ugly. F7, uh, F8. So aperture is changing. And you can almost hear the aperture blades shutting it down. All right. I'm gonna try ISO auto just for fun. All right, so aperture is set at 3.2, shutter speed is at 8,000th of second, and ISO is set to auto. Right now, ISO is 6,400. ISO 500. Back to the shade area. ISO being bumped up to 6400, 8000, ISO 8000, ISO 500. Alright, thanks for watching, hope this helps.